Hi friends, it's been a while, but I'm back with a brand new rap. I'm gonna say that every time. Sometimes I might go away for a little while, not because I don't love being on YouTube and I don't love this creation process, but because the world can be a really loud place, I feel energies very deeply. I'm a very sensitive person and sometimes I need to return to God, return to myself, return to the, the nature of ourselves. I'm with my favourite tree, one of my favourite trees, gosh, shouldn't say that, should I really? We're just chilling on a golf course, because why not? There weren't many people here, so I don't think I'll get hit in the face with any golf balls. Touch wood. I, uh, I don't really know what I want to share, but I know something that's been coming up for me is strength of frame and the strength of truth we have in our own frame when we are able to address life from a place of embodied confidence that actually whatever we have whatever we've created for ourselves in this now moment is our choice to enjoy or to resist and when we resist we tend to make life pretty difficult for ourselves and also everyone around us and so I think part of the beauty in who I am becoming more and more of every day is someone who's very capable of moving through her own shit and I think that there's a lot to be said for finding people we can share that with to alchemize and also people who aren't gonna let us dwell and fester in our darkness but learn to see the magic in it learn to see the beauty in it it's not about judging it's it's important that we share these aspects of self and I think that's partly why I think YouTube is quite important to me and why I'm incredibly grateful that this platform exists because it gives the average human accessibility to unlimited parts of the subconscious you know being displayed for all can really bring up a lot of uh, perceptions of other people and how much we let that affect us or not. How far we've come, for example. There's so much beauty in just finding peace where you are and also knowing that action towards where you want to go has to come from has to come from God, it has to come from your soul, it has to come from an, a part of you that knows good things are on their way. Otherwise you perpetuate a cycle of unconscious patterns. Something that I will talk more about when it comes up once I've processed a little more I think there's some refining I would like to do before I share that publicly but some of the processes that I've experienced just observing my family and myself included uh, obviously being a product of said environment I think is everyone's got a very universally similar story like I know that the, the situations might be different the extreme nature of certain things might be different for different people 
but you know the whole story arc of the hero's journey or the heroine's journey having that struggle having that challenge and who decides if we're a villain or a hero it's us we're going to be the the villain in someone's story because they're not ready to take ownership for the fact that everything is happening for us not to us and that is much easier said than done in certain situations but i i firmly believe that if we ingrain it into our psyche as a collective it will get easier and easier and easier and easier for the next generation the generation you know planting the seeds planting the seeds I'm, I'm not saying we all have to be perfect and live from this enlightened perspective although that would be delicious and i'm, I'm certainly going to hold myself to a high standard in that sense but in the sense of just life and humanity and a big collective of people it seems awfully inconvenient to wish it to be different than it is um and the real power is with us individually it's within it's within the privacy of our own hearts as ramdas says or said still says technically <laughs> uh Yeah. Life is good. I like the little check-ins I have with the online world. I kind of want to keep... I want to keep going. I'm not going to hold myself to as strict a regime as I have before, because I think it... it kind of crushes the creativity but I enjoy having some form of structure, so I'm gonna look into that a little bit more. Anyway, this is my little update. I feel like the world is a great place and it's up to us to create more greatness in it. There is plenty of misery. There is plenty of people choosing that reality. And now, uh, Peace be with you. Ciao.